Hey, I'm Andy, I'm back with Labyrinth Tory, and we're just more or less gonna continue where we left off. I did play some more off, like, after recording, and I more or less finished the... getting all the batteries and then doing all the different types of difficulties, so... Yeah, that was pretty cool. So, I think what's left is this corn maze. So, I have no idea what's gonna happen so we'll see the goal is to make it through the maze to the goal point marked in black there's no difficulty to so oh that is a oh i thought well, that's not too bad yeah that's not too bad at all we do have like a bird's eye view and we're like this tiny dot right here just i have done a lot of mazes in the past and a lot of them was with the uh, I forget the name of the game but it was a parody of the witness so I wonder like, like it's not too bad like for some reason I can I can read mazes but I, I can read mazes pretty fast Lee, that was hard. So we got a green key. Cool. I guess we can exit this. So we saw this, we got a green key, we got a red key. We need to get the rest of the keys. Alright, I think I already did this one too. What time of day is spelled the same forward and backwards? New. The puzzle is the oh yeah, we already got all the tokens for that. So you can see we got 30 tokens. We did all of the hangman stuff. There's still this part, I don't know. I have to guess that this looks like some sort of teleportation device. Yeah. We did this. There has to be some, obviously, this one too. Look at the red markings. They move all the pesky musical notes. You should be left with only four letters that will spell out a word. This is the password. So, I, I don't know, I, I don't know which red markings they're referring to because I, I, I see, I see red markings, but obviously, like obviously it, it doesn't look like musical notes, so I, I don't know, like, oh jeez, like I can go to the red markings here. At least, these are the only red markings I see, but they don't... They don't look like musical notes to me. At least that I know of. <laughs> can I pick up the... Yeah, we can. We can't pick up the shovel. There's wrong wall. The writing in red says, Cabbage's Fort. So maybe... I'm not sure what that means, but I should... So maybe it, it, it refers to that. So Cabbage's Fort. Remove all the pesky musical notes. Then you should be left with only four letters that will spell out a word. This is the past, so we got Cabbage's Fort. And going... So can I? Yeah, okay. So we got... For musical notes, we got... A, B, C... E... F... And G. Sort. Oh! <laughs> okay! That worked. The real treasure was the friends I made along the way. But this chest also has one battery. That didn't really help in the long run, but... Okay, I... I don't remember... Did I ex Did I examine the wall in the previous part? I, I think I must, I must have just looked at it and say, thought that they weren't musical notes at all, so... Yeah... What is this? All these colored rectangles or kernels make this corn look like it's made of pixels. <laughs> Can you pick up the spade? No. There's a wall here. I wonder what's behind this damage wall. If only I had a sledgehammer. Okay. Oh! Yeah, I didn't explore this area, obviously. Ah, you! The girl! I see you have collected batteries, solved puzzles, traveled through woods and corns. You are doing quite well. 
Yes, 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 yes. Oh, you again. Yes, I am me, observant girl. Observant girl with batteries who is now closer to gaining man's greatest need. Yes, I get some batteries, eat some raw corn, and now what, I just keep wandering around out here? Observant man's greatest need seeking back. <laughs> Her girl will not wander. She will move with purpose and haste. And Pyromaniac 3086 and shoes and. Ah. The girl wishes to continue. Yes, yes. Though she may need to return after finding new tools. Yeah, though with the sledgehammer, I assume. But for now, continue through the hedge maze behind me and past the pool. Then you will enter Labyrinthatory Mansion and. I thought this was. Okay, I mean, I guess we didn't go into the actual mansion yet. Just remember, with the power of teamwork, we will be able to do things that we would not otherwise be able to do without the power of teamwork. No, I, I, I can still see you. <laughs> That's not creepy. <laughs> okay. The head. Oh, this is like the actual hedge maze. Interesting. We got the yellow key though. And this. The real treasure was friendly made along the way. We got three tokens and one hint. So I'm gonna try and get through this game without hints. Pathfinding. Alright, what's this? I don't know why, but I could really go for a nice cup of tea right now. This game is in the way, I need to find a way to remove the lock. So there's another lock there. I bet this one is hiding- I already got that. Let's do the pathfinding one. One sign is true, one sign is false. Either this path is incorrect or the other sign is true. This is not the correct path. Which path- which path do you take? Okay. Signs will tell you which path, but not all signs tell the truth. Okay, one false sign, one true sign. Sign A, this is not the correct path. Okay, sign B, either this path is incorrect or the other sign is true. That's a either or, right? So if, if sign A is true, then the solution will be sign B. But then, if A is true, then B has to be false. Either this path is incorrect, or the other sign is true. But I mean, it's an either or, right? Or is both statements... Hmm. So then, sign B, if sign B is true, either this path is incorrect, or the other sign is true, that means... Sign A is not the correct path. But then it's false, so then it has to be path A, because... If B is true... Then it says the other sign is true. Or... I, I'm, I'm confusing myself. So either this path is incorrect, or the other sign is true. But then if it's A is false, then this is not the correct path. So, so it is. Let's... I think B makes sense? No, it's not. <laughs> Oh, both signs are true. Okay. Then we'll go with path B, because it says this is the correct path. Okay. One false sign, one true sign. This is the path to follow. Either the sign at path A is true, or this is the correct path. Eh? No. Ah, uh, <laughs> mental games. <laughs> One false sign, one true sign. So this is the same one. More or less. This is not the correct path. Either this path... I'm, like, I'm... I'm getting confused with the either ors for me, so... Are they collectively one statement? Both signs are false. This is the right path to take, and the sign at path B is true. So it's false. Because the sign A is false. This is the right path to take, and the sign at path A is false. Like, is it sequentially? Or are they both false at the same time? <laughs> but then... It says sign at path A is false, but then we'll go with A. Both signs are true. This is the correct path, A. All signs are true. This sign is not false. 
Sign B, the sign and path C is false, or A is not the correct path. Well, oh, but I mean, if C is so I, I assume the or is, so it makes it mutually exclusive. So A is the correct path is true, then this part is false, right? B? Oh, huh? okay. All signs are false. B is the correct path and C is the correct path, so we'll go with path A. Wait, what? I, I should read. I should read it. All signs are true. The sign that path B is false or C is not the correct path. This is not the correct path and the sign is not false. Okay. B? Oh, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> Both signs are false. This is the right path to take, and the sign of path B is false. This is the right path to take, and the sign of path A is true. Okay. One false sign, two true signs. The sign at path B is true. A is not the correct path. This is the correct path. So if this is the false one, then these two are true. So then A is not the correct, so it has to be B. Okay, all signs. I, we're we're getting this. All signs are false. Sign A. C is the correct path, and B is the correct path. So it's A. A is the correct path, and B is the correct path. So it says C is correct, which is false. B is correct, which is false. A is correct path, which is false, and B is the correct path, which is false. But then the false cancels each other's out. I guess it cancels each other's out. Okay. No power and the verse can stop me. We got 12 tokens and a hint. Okay. We didn't need a hint for that. <laughs> I think my heads must be really good at planning for their futures. They're always thinking ahead. <laughs> okay. Detective Beatrice is missing. Before vanishing, she was investigating the mafia, trying to find the identity of the top mob boss. She left behind a note that says 5508-51808. What is the map, Bob? <laughs> Leet speak. <laughs> there is a green house. Go inside and there is a white house. Go inside and there is a red house. Go inside and there are several babies. Okay. I mean, the, the Oval Office seems like a good, <laughs> seems like a good pick. It's a greenhouse that has a dollhouse inside of it. The Earth, maybe. A wa oh, a watermelon sounds right. Like reading the options, a watermelon sounds right because you have the green, sh like the green outer rind. I think that's what it's called. And then inside it, it's a little bit wider, and then there's red, and then there are seeds. Yeah, we got tokens. What weighs more, a ton of marshmallows or a ton of brinks? They weigh the same. <laughs> All right, so we're making progress here. Oh, there's I mean, there's a greenhouse right there too. This rock is shaped like the letter O. How bizarre! These flowers has grown into a large M. Strange, isn't it? O M. So here's the one where we need the three other keys. I need to collect the seven chaos. I mean, I mean six color keys. O M. Oh T. That's odd. It looks like this is, uh, Tom, right? Well, there's a vacuum cleaner. Bar these stupid kids and they're dirty up the place. You're vacuuming dirt. Was it? Or, yeah, what's it look like I'm doing? Stupid kids. <laughs> what is the name of Wernicke's dentist? Pay attention, Tom, I assume? Yeah. Get the orange key. Can we go through the corn? We can. There's apparently something in here, too. Let's press this button. Oh, let's. Get this first, then press the button. Bob's mother has four children. The first three are named April, May, June. Bob. <laughs> because Bob's mother. 
Oh, I, re I, I remember, like, there were some videos that had those types of riddles, so... It, w it wasn't the exact same one, but... Yeah. <laughs> math Blitz, okay. I did, I did me a math once. I just want to explore first, though. Oh, Tetris? Block placing. I like Tetris. Or is it more, is it more Tanagrams? What's this, though? Yard lights. So there's three. So there, oh, we can go north too if we want. We just bypass the locks for these. Okay, let's let's try one of each. See how it goes. Math blitz. Okay. The goal is to score 15 points within 30 seconds. All right. Let's try normal first. Wait, what? Oh, we can start. 2 plus 10 is 12. 9 plus 2 is 11. 0 plus 0 is 0. 8. 3. 14. 1. 7. 8. 0. 2. Hopefully I don't have to remember these answers. Let's see. 9. 1. 9. Seven. There's a lot of time actually for at least for the normal one, but I mean that's at my level Obviously everyone has different types of levels. I solved it. Let's see puzzle menu Let's go for hard see how it works 11 plus 4 so it's just it's basically the same difficulty, but more options. That's what I take I mean more options does give you like more more time to read it and more time to actually solve it because you have to look through all the different options so I, I, I can get it I can get the difficulty so that's 7 23 2 3 26 9. oh we barely made it too I hesitated on a walk them let's try a stupid art oh there's more options this time Three minutes, zero is three. Oh, I clicked on my mistake. That's five, eight. So more, yeah, you're given more options to read and still 15, so that's fine. And the questions are a little bit harder. Five minus four is that, 24, zero, minus three. So that's four, nine, 14, Oh, if I if I didn't misclick, then we would have we would have done it. Yeah, if I if I didn't miss it, we would have done it. <laughs> That's minus three. That is eight six. That is negative nine fourteen thirteen minus one nine five. 39, that's a big number from what I've seen so far. Minus 6, 21. So that's 8 minus 3 is 5, 15, 23, 10, 9. Yeah, we got it. Okay. So we got all of them now. Okay, cool. I like math problems as much as anyone, but I can't earn any more batteries here. Cool. Yard lights, I don't know what this is. Makes me wonder if Uncle would decorate the place with Christmas lights around the holidays. Oh, well, that'd be neat if, like, di on different holidays, then the the surroundings would change. That'd be a neat Easter egg. The goal is to turn off all the lights. Let's go with normal. Oh, so like, if we click one, then these two will light up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I hate these. I'm so bad at these. Like, I'm really bad at these. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Let's try medium. Because that was pretty easy. Hopefully it doesn't have, like, two different colors. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it would make sense if it did, but... Hmm. Alright, uh oh, we're not, we're not there, are we? <laughs> yeah, I'm 
bad at these. Like, really bad at these. So you need to do... Hmm. Yeah, I'm so, yeah, I'm so bad at these. <laughs> Luckily, there is a difficulty thing, so... It's accessible for everyone. <laughs> oh, we, ha we almost had it. We we're at one. Oh, now we're, we're, we're making it worse. <laughs> We are so making it worse. Alright. Do this. Hmm. I'm, I'm so bad at this. Like, how do you give hints for this? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm just randomly clicking now. Sometimes it solves it, but I don't think this is one of those times. All right, I, th I think we're getting somewhere. Maybe, 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 maybe not. <laughs> I am so lost. <laughs> like I get there's a probably like an algorithm to it's like this in the Rubik's Cube is just something that I don't understand <laughs> logically in my head. Uh, but I mean some people do and that that's totally fine. So let's let's just give up. <laughs> I mean, we did the easy ones, so that's fine. We also completed all the math ones. Let's check out uh, the Tetris. Lock placing. The goal is to place the all... So it is like a tenogram. So I've done a lot of this recently, actually, because I played... Ever since I played the demo for the Talos Principle 2, I was trying to finish the Talos Principle 1 in... Like, before the game Talos Principle 2 launches, but that didn't happen. But there's a lot of tenograms, so... Yeah, this is fine. So that's a long piece. That's fine. There's actually a lot of pieces for easy, honestly. <laughs> Alright, let's do it like this. Like that, like that. Like that. I messed up somewhere. <laughs> Obviously. Alright, there we go. Take that, you puzzle. <laughs> Let's try hard. That's not... It looks like... It's not that bad. Uh, it, like, it really isn't that bad. Uh, you can't do that. Can do this. Can you? I mean, you can still with the long piece. Actually, no, you can't because there's no pieces that go this way. So never mind. Maybe, maybe it's like that. No, that's not right. Hmm. Oh, I, yeah, this is slightly harder because there's not as many long pieces. I think. Maybe we need to do like this. So now we have this to work with. Oh, we need two squares and a long piece. All right. I can't do that either. <laughs> Hmm. So we need 
two squares. This works. There we go. We did the medium. <laughs> I need to break after that one. Do we? No. Let's check the soup. stupid hard one. Oh, there's a U shape now. Alright, let's go like that. Well, that was probably not gonna work, but we're just putting pieces to see if they fit. There's oh there's only one square, so I don't think that's gonna work either. Yeah, that's not gonna work. We do have a long piece. Hmm. And there's no L shape that fits like this except for this one. Oh no, even that one doesn't fit. Okay, so what can we do out of this? We can do it like this. Oh yeah, yeah, we got this. <laughs> that, that wasn't too bad. Uh, I, I solved this faster than the medium one. I had achievement. Solve 10 puzzles on stupid hard difficulty. Okay. Cool. No more batteries from placing blocks. So the only thing left really is to go... We're missing two more keys. And the only place left to go is north. And then this light puzzle. But... Yeah, I think I'll end this here. We more or less finished this area, which is really cool. Like, there's still a lot of variety of puzzles, and the, like I said, the difficulty, since you can change it, it, it really, like, I don't, I don't know how to put this, like, it, it reaches out to a broader audience because some might not find the puzzles that hard so that they can go to the stupid part, whereas, some puzzles might be super hard for them, so they might go to normal. Which, like, for me and the light puzzle is... I don't understand it. <laughs> so, yeah, that was pretty cool. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed this. I might do more. This is just... I don't know if this is going to be, like, a continuing series. I don't know if this is the second part, but... Yeah, anyways, hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.